If you are thinking about owning land, then you must understand a few issues around land. And one of it is it always becomes necessary that you use professionals when you are dealing with land issues. People who can help you identify the property, identify the boundaries like your surveyors. These people understand which land has problems, which is a public land, which is private land. They understand that. The other thing is it is critical to ask questions when you're buying land. In fact, we say ask anything. If any question comes to your mind, ask. Demand proof of ownership. Demand that they prove they own. Tell them give you the title deed and show you the original, not just the copy. Anybody who makes a claim, then they tell you there's a police post here, there's a public road here. Demand for that evidence. Don't take them for their word. In fact, like our forefathers told us, when you're buying land, when you're buying soil, go and see it, touch it. Don't buy it where you can't see it. And ask the neighbors about that land. Ask the neighbors what they know. In fact, if need be, go there without the seller. Ask the questions you want to ask and be vigilant. And try and understand the issues. Don't take it to people who are telling you in a hurry. You're telling you this is the last chance you have. There's nothing like last chance. A lot of Kenya is still unsold. It is important to do due diligence because when we don't do due diligence, one day we're going to have premium tears. Very serious heartache, very serious pain. That's why it is important when you're buying land, you conduct search of this land. You want to be sure that the title is clean, that title has no dispute, and you have the proper ownership. The person saying they own the land, they actually own the land. And there are three definite places where you have to do this search. The first one is the land's office. They have the green card. The green card is a logbook of a piece of land. And it shows historically who has owned land, where has it moved to, who has it moved to. And the land office is not enough. You need to actually check out with the survey of Kenya. You need the map. The map has the coordinates of the piece of land. There are many lands where you have a record in the land office, but we don't have a map in the survey of Kenya because it is not rigid. And the other place you need to check is the Dongo report. The Dongo report is a product of a commission, and they actually look through all the piece parcels of land in this country that have issues. The Dongo report forms what we call case law, that there are lands with issues, and if you get into tangled with those land issues, you're going to have problems. And when you're doing your search, I would recommend use a lawyer who is in that business. They understand that space very well. They will cost you money, yes, but yes, pay them money now so that you avoid premium tiers later. By the way, you should not forget one, they buy professional indemnity. If they actually gave you wrong advice and they didn't check the papers properly and became a big issue, you can actually sue them and the insurance will pay for that. When you're buying or when you're selling, you need to understand only advocates of the high court actually have the mandate to do land conveyancing in Kenya. And when you do the transfer, whether you go through the land board or you don't go to the land board, please ensure to pay the appropriate stamp duty to the government. Don't run away from paying stamp duty. If you're not paying stamp duty, try to understand maybe you're not going through a legal process. And when you buy a piece of land, ensure you're paying the rent or you're paying the rent. If it's a leasehold, you will be paying rent because you're leasing. If it is in an urban setup, you're paying rent because your governor is providing you services. And if you don't pay them, they will create duress, you will have an accumulation, and along the way, you might be a candidate of losing your land. So it is important that we check all these things. Check from your professionals. What is this land designated for? Is it agricultural? Is it commercial? Is it residential? Is it controlled? What are the building standards that Around here, what are the minimum uh, land sizes? What are the fees payable here? It is important to check out all those things. If you check out all those things, you are likely to end up with a good deal. If you have land now, you know the things you need to look out for, you need who to talk to, and you can actually be able to get that which is necessary. And it is good to understand more in this space as you invest in real estate. That's a subject we cover well in the Wealth Creation Masterclass, and that's why we're giving you an opportunity to join us. We have five free slots, it's an online class, two hours. Get in touch 0708-150-137. I have ordered a book. It's called Wallet Words and some of the things we just discussed are well covered in that book.